Hey everybody, Rick from AGIProDJ.com. Got a great question from a hobby DJ in the San Francisco Bay Area named Bert. Uh, Bert picked up a couple of our wireless speaker system uh, systems that we've talked about and shown some videos on. Uh, Bert's a hobby DJ. He's a scientist by day, but uh, even for a hobby DJ, he has some pretty incredible gear. Um, and that, that's an exciting story because we all get into this business because we love it, we're passionate about it, and so. Uh, Bert picked up a couple of those systems today. He had a couple of questions for me which prompted me to shoot another video on what this system is, why you use it, how you use it, how it works, and that kind of stuff. So uh, without further ado, let's kind of dive right into it. These are some of the pieces you saw in the last video. And, and basically, if you can wrap your head around a wireless mic system, and, and some of you may watch this and you may say, well, AGI Pro DJ does it again, they're breaking down something I understand. Well, for one person that understands this, I, I do guarantee you that 10 or 15 people don't understand it. So let's break it down in, into a way that we can understand it. Most often, you will use a wireless mic such as this. This is a lapel mic that goes, uh, usually, you know, we've all seen it hooked up to a speaker, and then it plugs into a belt pack, which typically goes on a belt or a pocket. And that typically goes on a remote speaker, not this kind of speaker, but a remote presenter. So if I use this and talked 200 feet away, this signal would be transmitted to a matching receiver. And we're going to go into these two and why they look identical and what each one does. But this would go to the receiving end, and this is what's typically closer to your console. So a remote presenter 200 feet away transmits a signal to the receiving end, this gets patched into your mixing console where it's ultimately projected or broadcasted to your powered speakers uh, or whatever means you amplify it. This system for using a remote powered speaker like this guy, this actually works in reverse. So this is what's really happening. Assume for a second that this speaker is close to your console but 200 feet away is another remote speaker. We're going to actually use this system in reverse. One of Bert's question was, you know, you're showing two speakers in the video in two separate receivers. Is that what I'm seeing in your picture on the website is two receivers? And you're actually not. We sell the system a couple different ways, and I'll break that down a little bit further in the video. But let's just assume that this speaker is the one that's close to us, that's wired to a console. It would have a line in coming here. And then this is a line out. So what we do, and this cable is not actually provided by the manufacturer of this product. We actually give this to you for free. We've identified the right cable and how it works. This is a line out. And it's going to go into this body pack transmitter. So one of them says transmitter, one of them says receiver. So you would make that connection. And depending on your speaker, you could put this anywhere you wanted to, but this one happens to have a handle up at the top, so you can hide it right there. It's got a nice antenna that sticks out the top. This would be the signal going out. Now, let's assume that we were 200 feet away, and this is the remote speaker. So now this is the one we want to send the signal to. What we want to do is pick the receiver. We go line in, so we want to send the signal into the speaker. And so this is the body pack receiver. Same thing, you can hide that up there where you want to. And then this receives the signal wirelessly. That's how this works. Now, a couple of benefits to purchasing this system from us is the receiver has an AF gain setting, which should be set at a specific point. The transmitter also has a sensitivity setting. We can help you get that figured out as well. Here's the difference in the two systems. The basic smaller system has a receiver and a transmitter. These are two separate things. If you wanted to do two receivers and do two remote speakers, you could do it one of two ways. You could make this your receiving speaker with a wireless signal and then daisy chain it with an actual XLR cable to the other speaker. That's one way to do it. Or if you wanted to do two actual receivers, you would need to either purchase one extra one of these, which is like 400 and change, or for just a little over 100 bucks more, you can get another complete setup that has a, a receiver and a transmitter. So this is how it comes. It comes with 
either receiver and transmitter and all the cables you need. It also will come with a lav mic. The other system that's $200 more, which is actually a great value, is this guy right here. And this is the XLR plug-in transmitter we were talking about that I was so excited about in the other video. This is very cool, especially if you're within a very short proximity of the other speaker, because then line of sight isn't quite as critical. Line of sight and distance are the two things you really need to think about. But this is completely hidden. So if we turn this around, and the public sees this, they don't have a clue what's going on. I mean, and nobody would even have to know. This transmits the signal to the receiving end. So for shorter distances, what a slick way to do it. If you've got to go farther and you want to get over the top of people's heads and you've got line of sight, then you put the transmitter way up high and stick the antenna out so that you've got a good line of sight. So those are the two systems. The, the less expensive one has a, a transmitter and receiver. 200 bucks more, you get this little plug-in guy, which again also turns a wired mic into wireless. Videographers can use it. It's pretty slick. If you bought this by itself, it's 300 bucks, but if you buy it in a system, it's $200 more. So uh, what you end up getting from us, uh, again, you can buy this anywhere, but you get a free cable. This is something you absolutely have to have to do it right. Uh, this is available in three different frequency groups. There's like an A, a B, and a G. We can help you determine which frequency group is probably best for your market, depending on where you do events. Um, and then also we can just help you get the sensitivity and AF gain settings in the right place. So this is a cool system. This has been getting a ton of attention, and it works. Um, that's the cool thing about it. It just flat out works. You can do that to ease your labor and to ease your workflow. I would even use it to sell clients on. There are ways that you can talk about how to use this system and actually make you a better DJ and a better, more appealing DJ to a client. So it's a cool system. We appreciate you checking it out. And it's available right now from agiprodj.com. Thanks for watching.